All right, in our last edition of these videos, we did over safety, gun safety, and we talked about the muzzle and uh, that gun safety video. And so today what we're gonna do is just demonstrate some muzzle control in entryways and when you're around people. Um, this can apply to airsoft. Um, it can apply to uh, real life situations, just like you know some of the stuff that we've been, been showing, videos we've been showing. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, Greg kind of just talk about muzzle control and how to get that gun out of the way. So, okay. So the reason we talk about this is <clears throat> under stress. I, I've said it a hundred times. The body does crazy stuff. We get in that fight or flight syndrome. So what we want to make sure is we don't shoot our partner. We don't shoot a citizen coming up to us or a friend or a buddy or or wherever you're at. Um, so we always have to be cognizant of where our where our muzzle is. Some people call it the laser rule. So basically just imagine a laser projecting out of the end of the barrel here. Anything that touches, it's gonna destroy. So if Sean and I are moving uh, as a group, as I'm behind him, I wanna make sure this muzzle is never pointed at his back anywhere around him. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can, you can use what, what we use is a sewell position. There's guys that use a temple index. And then there's your old school guys that just keep the gun pointed to the ground. And that's, any of those work. But what we prefer is the sewell position. Um, one thing, I have great control over my gun. So say he's he's bad guy or say he's, he's a citizen and he runs up to me because he's scared. I can, I can go from here, I can protect my gun and get it away and get him off of me and, and move past. I can secure it real, real tight to my body. If I need to come up, up on a shot, I'm right here. I can start picking up my, my sights as soon as it reaches my visual plane, okay? Same thing with the rifle. Sean can show you some stuff with that. So if I'm there, obviously there's, he talked about high ready, low ready, all these different ways that we can do it. But the biggest problem is that if I'm gonna go around him, right, this muzzle, I cannot let get back here. If he's addressing a problem, and I see this in airsoft all the time, I'll see my partner up here and he's addressing bad guy up there. And then Yahoo number two back here is like, all oh, right, dude, I'm gonna take him out too, right? I wanna get into the fight. So what does he do? He draws up, he starts shooting, and then what does his partner do? Oh, crap, you know, now we got a priority of fire issue, right? He walked through the laser, right? But to fix that problem, all I have to do is step right up and get in line with him. Now if he starts to move, you see how he's starting to move, right? It just drives my, my barrel offline, right? If I need to go around to the other side of him, we use that same thing, right? If I'm coming here, and I gotta address something over here because there's something coming out that window right. I can come down and step in and deal with this problem over here. My muzzle's not gonna cross him, right? There's a lot of guys that do it high, a lot of guys that do it low. It's the same, same thing if he's gonna do that with the pistol, right? I'm in a firefight here, he's, he steps up on this side. He sees something here that he's gotta address. At, there he goes, he can, get, he, can, he can change that priority of fire, get that muzzle offline. And that's the, big, that's the biggest problem that we see because he has no idea what I'm fixing to do, right? And, and you guys know, especially when you're playing mill sim or doing any of these type of things, you guys know you're moving so fast, right? And it's too fast for this guy to respond. He's already on the trigger, you know, and he cannot respond. If he's got the gun up, bad guy's there, he's bang, 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 and I'm running that cross over there. Dude, there's no way that he's gonna get that gun down fast enough. It ain't gonna happen. So he can fix that problem like we just talked about. He can fix that problem quick by coming up online. And so that's a, that's a quick lesson on, on just muzzle control. And then I'm gonna have Greg talk a little bit about just understanding muzzle control and entryways. Just, you know, watching your muzzle, making sure you're not sticking it through the entryway okay. before you come through. So if we were gonna make an entry on this room, um, we wanna try to get, you know, our tactics, and we'll probably go over pyings and, and some, other, some other tactics later, but for the purposes of this, if I want to get as close to this doorway as I can, but I don't want to project my gun out into the, into the room. If there was someone standing behind that door and they see that muzzle, I'm giving away my position, or he could actually reach up here and snag my gun before I can react, because action beats reaction. Okay, so I want to make sure I keep that, that gun back, and then when I make entry into the room, are we gonna talk about making entries or are we just talking about that? 
No, you okay, can just, we'll just go in. Right go inside and show them. You just okay. stay there. Go inside. So come out here. So stay right there and watch that edge. Watch that edge and watch the muzzle when it's not in good control. Okay. Now imagine if you're you live and die by information. Now you see this muzzle right here. Now imagine you're playing airsoft, doing whatever you're doing, right? And you got a guy back over here. You have just let this guy know exactly where you're at, right? And this is one of the the things I see all the time in uh, in playing airsoft, and honestly, I see it in real life too a lot of times. So, um, so that muzzle control is important, right? And it's much more difficult in judging a uh, a long rifle, right? I mean, it's a lot more difficult, especially depending on what shoulder you're gonna what what you're gonna do, however you're gonna address it, right? If I'm coming here, I've got to either get that gun back, I've got to get it out of the way. There's so many different ways I see online on how to how to get it back. The bottom line is, don't stick the freaking muzzle through the entryway, right? Just make it simple, right? You don't want it here, you want it here, right? You want it here, whatever, but you don't want it through. You don't you don't want to give anything away. Do you agree? I would agree. That's so, that's a real quick lesson on muzzle control. Remember the laser rule. Always keep your primary safety off, so keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to engage that target. If you use those principles in airsoft, it'll translate into real steel. Yeah, safety, just that everything. Easy. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, you look like a freaking pro, man. <laughs>